What do you think, Melissa? Ridiculous. It's gorgeous. You can see the entire Mont Blanc Massif. It's beautiful. I like No words. No <laughs> words. No words. It's a pretty easy hike. Really, anyone should be able to do it. But yes, I will say that this hike is better than yesterday's hike to the glacier just because you can see the mountains the entire time. Welcome back to another episode of The Stinky Life. Today we are going to hike to Lac Blanc. It is a, an alpine lake here near Chamonix. We are going to take two gondolas slash chairlifts to get there. We're starting here in Le Bras, and we're gonna take the Flagier chairlift to here and then from here take another chair, the index, index chairlift to the top and from there we'll um, hike about an hour and a half to the lake. So the lake should have the mountains behind it so it should look really cool. Today's a very clear day so yeah I'm excited. And then we might take good Merida glass. So if we do that'll be on well no that'll be on a separate video yeah. <laughs> but uh, today should be another long day but I'm excited for it. Take advantage of all the clear days we have. Yes. So Flagere up to the top here, and then index another one up there, and then hike across to Le Blanc. And we're debating whether we go straight back across and take the cable car back down, or do we hike down this path down to the middle station and take it back. Made it up the first chairlift up to Flagier. 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 We actually met a really cool guy, and I assume his girlfriend or wife. And they're actually a high altitude guide here in Chamonix. And basically, they were telling us, yeah, similar to like the U.S. national parks, a lot of the French have now figured out that Chamonix is a really good area to come. So he's saying this last season was pretty much all French visitors. Uh, previously. It's all like international, like US, South Africa, whatever, right? This year it's all just French. So very similar to what happened with our national parks in the US. But now we are going to get on our second- It's a chairlift. It's chairlift, a gondola, not, not a gondola. Not a gondola. So this is the index and then that'll take us to the top. It's the first time you've been on a chairlift in a while. Huh? Yep. How are you feeling, Melissa? I'm worried about my foot. I think I have a, a stress fracture or a hairline fracture on my talus. So I'll be taking it easy today. And my my calves are super sore from yesterday. Like I said, the hike was very steep, so my calves are definitely feeling it today, but I think I will make it. We are definitely going up pretty high. It's kind of crazy. Let me Whoa. make sure I hold my camera still. Yeah, don't drop it. The reason why we decided to do it today, obviously, because number one, it's clear, and we just realized that this chairlift, uh, this is the second to last day that this chairlift actually runs for the season. So it ends tomorrow, but tomorrow will be pretty rainy and stormy. Supposedly oh, it's gonna be the first snow. Of the season. Yeah, so we'll see about that. I think uh, it'll look pretty cool. Yeah, and then Monday was supposed to be clear as well, but obviously Melissa's foot issue, we were gonna give her a break today and not hike. But then we realized, oh, we had to do it today because the chairlift doesn't run on Monday um, because the last day is Sunday. So we'll see. I think it'll be all right. We'll just take it easy. This is not as steep uh, going up. So it's just only maybe three or 400 meters of elevation gain or descent. So it should be okay. But we are, we are up here. It's cold too. Yeah, it's getting a little cold. I didn't realize how high this thing gets. It's also a ski area. So this is 
generally a ski lift in and the winter. We're on a very large ski lift. It fits six, six people. Yeah. So I think this is considered a large ski run. Yeah, I was just looking at this little map that they have on the chairlift. Should be pretty cool. All right, we're about to get there, so let's get ready. says an hour and 15 minutes. We're pretty fast even with my injury. So probably an hour, I would say. So it is 9.58. 9.50, We're starting a little bit later than we'd like just because we had to change plans at the last minute. But we should be there by 11, I think. Let's go. first stop to take off our jackets because it's getting warm. It's sunny, which means it's warm, but wow, the views from here are amazing. We got a little bit of wispy clouds up here, but this hike so far has been just a gradual downhill. I think we're gonna go up a little bit, but the views from here are amazing. I think I, is that? Uh, that's the chairlift. The, oh, that's the chairlift that we can see down there. That's good. I think we can just make it down there, go to the lake and then make it down there. I think that'd be easier instead of having to hike back up. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see which way is longer. Yeah. We'll, we'll be taking the shorter path. But now we see all the really like spiky mountains is what I call them. So in the distance we see Mont Blanc and then over here we see all the little really craggy peaks. I really like this hike because it's out in the open. You can actually see all the the mounds around compared to yesterday's hike which is in the in the forest. What do you think? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's really nice to see the mountains in front of us. Like that's why we're here. But I also don't mind forest hikes, especially on really sunny days. Yeah. It protects you from the sun a little bit. But yeah, I just thought once we got to this point we'd be able to see Long Lock Blanc, but we can't, so we gotta keep going. I think we're about more than halfway in, but this is where we came from. We came from up that way, went across this little valley, mostly downhill. And now we're here, and you can see all the mounds behind. So that's Mont Blanc back there. Not sure what these mounds are, but it is a beautiful day today. Couldn't ask for better weather. There's a little bit of clouds back there, but once we passed over here, super clear. And then there's Melissa about to pose for a photo. On this trail, you do have to scramble across a little rocky section, but it's easy. Even this little kid who was probably like four years old was doing it. Not too bad. And there's not a lot of elevation gain. The beginning was a little bit of a descend down into kind of the valley a little bit, but then it's just kind of gradual up and down, up and down, a few climbs here and there, but, but not much. So I think we're getting pretty close. Melissa, how long have we been hiking? Do you know? And um, Melissa was just saying we have made it about just about an hour, just under an hour or so. So I think we should be getting there pretty quickly. We've been stopping quite often for pictures and just honestly just admiring the view. This is my favorite hike here in Chamonix. We've now made it to Lock Lock. It did take us an hour and 15 minutes. That was with stops and going very slowly. So there are times are pretty accurate. It's beautiful here. The lake is smaller than we thought it would be, but it's beautiful. And there's a refuge up here. I didn't know that was gonna be up here. So I think you can um, stay the night. Oh, um, that'd be kind of cool. Certain times of the year, yeah. But as you can see, it's uh, it's a Saturday and it's a beautiful day, so it's quite busy up here. But it's like a double lake. 
It's like there's this one, the small lake down here, and then there's a bigger lake beyond this point. So, um, the shot we're trying to get is the lake in front of the mountain, so we have to get behind the lake to get that photo. So, we're gonna walk around. We made it up to the top of this little point here. You can see both lakes. So that's the second lake down below. And then over here, you can see the first lake where the refuge is and all the mounds behind. Obviously there's mounds there too. The view here is just insane. You can even climb up higher. I see a few people up there. So I think we're gonna try to climb all the way back there behind the second lake so we can get a shot of both lakes in front of the mountains. What do you think, Melissa? Ridiculous. It's gorgeous. You can see the entire Mont Blanc Massif. It's beautiful. I like No words. No <laughs> words. No words. It's a pretty easy hike. Really, anyone should be able to do it. But yes, I will say that this hike is better than yesterday's hike to the glacier just because you can see the mountains the entire time. We decided not to go to the other side of the lake because it seems like you had to scramble on the side of the lake and to make it there and there was not that many people there and we felt like the pictures from where we were just up there was fantastic already anyway so we're just gonna head back and go the view and have a quick little lunch but man I just I just can't believe how beautiful it is up here crazy So this is our nice, excellent lunch spot for today. We've had two excellent lunch spots the last two days. Surreal environment or surreal location. Just seeing the glacier, like the glacial tongues and craggly mountain peaks, the entire Mont Blanc Massif, blue green lake, it's amazing. So we're gonna enjoy our lunch here and just enjoy nature. to test how cold the water is. Yeah, it's very cold. Like, it would sting? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, our time here at Lock Lock has come to an end. We had a great time, but now it is time to head back down the mountain and catch the chairlift back down before we head to Merida Glass. Ready to go down? Yep. You have a good time up here? Yeah, it was a nice hike, not hard. Now I'm ready to go see Merida Glass. I would definitely recommend going all the way up to Index, taking a chairlift up like we did this morning instead of hiking up from Flagir because it is pretty steep going up. Saw quite a few people coming up this way and they were definitely struggling and we we're coming down. So coming down is, it feels steep. So I can only imagine going up. So definitely go all the way up to Index. Another thing that's great about hiking down to the middle chairlift, Flagir, is that you have views of Mont Blanc and all the mountains as you're hiking down. And then we also came to this little lake right here, which is beautiful as well. So I would definitely recommend doing the different path down just because you get to see different views. So instead of going back to Index on the same way, definitely come down to Flagir. Views hiking down Loch Blanc to the Flagir chairlift are better than the views from the Index chairlift to Loch Blanc. Like, it's insane. It's crazy. I want to just take all the photos, but we, we have to go. We made it back. 
down to the first chairlift. Legere. Legere. In exactly one hour and ten minutes. One hour and ten minutes. That's not bad. Well, you made it before I did. Yeah, I've been sitting here for a little bit because I kind of ran down the mountain. But man, the views here have been amazing and it's still amazing right now. We're just kind of sitting on these little lounge chairs right outside the, the gondola station and just enjoying the, the weather today. I mean, this is probably the most popular hike in the whole Chamonix area and I can see why. It is... It's beautiful for one. Like, you just have a view of the mountains the entire way. But also, it's not very difficult. Mm -hmm. So, that's why it's, you know, popular. We hope you enjoyed the studio. If you did, please help us out and hit that like button. And if you like content like this, what do you do? Subscribe. There you go. All right, see you in the next one. We are now inside a glacier. Look at the blue, like the blue walls. That's so cool. It's also dripping on me. Wow. So Melissa, you were saying they have to carve this out by hand they carve every it by single hand year. Every year. Wow.